Well, we've got lots of key sustainability challenges. We have a, a series of values um, on health, on our communities that we serve, on being a great place to work, on um, helping our environment. And we're working across all of those initiatives. So at the moment, the big hot topic in the UK is plastics and plastics waste. And uh, we've signed up to the Plastics Pack to um, make sure that all the plastic packaging in our business is, is either recyclable reusable or compostable by 2025. So that's something that's exercising a lot of minds at the moment. Being a member of the Consumer Goods Forum is very important because as we look forward, these types of issues used to be a source of competitive advantage, but increasingly we need to collaborate as an industry, not just in the UK, but globally in order to tackle these types of issues. Uh, and plastics is a very good example of that. Um, the CGF have really got hold of it as an issue, uh, is driving change across the globe. Uh, and it's only in, by investing in base technologies, by sharing learnings and by ultimately adopting those on a global scale that we'll actually make change. So the CGF is a vital part of bringing the industry together to tackle these types of initiatives. Well, on a personal level, it gives me a great opportunity of meeting the other business leaders across our industry. Um, and there's as much chatter and talk behind the scenes as there is in the board itself. But also, it's a group of people that can make real change, um, real change on a global scale across a whole series in, of initiatives, whether that's plastics waste, food waste, um, enforced labour and any number of other issues that we'll be talking about over the forum uh, in the next couple of days. So it's an opportunity to get together with a, a number of people that I've got to know it well over the years, um, but also um, knowing that that group of people can genuinely make a difference in the way that the industry tackles these global issues. Well, it's a great opportunity to share our learning. Um, I think our business and the UK more generally is at the forefront of many of the issues that are being tackled in the area of sustainability. And I think we're pretty advanced, whether that's the legislative framework and platform or whether it's the behaviour and attitude of the organisations within the UK. And as I say, Sainsbury's as a company is at the leading edge of that. Uh, so I think it's important for a business like ours to uh, talk about what we're doing. Uh, to make sure that we're communicating but also that we are sharing our knowledge, um, our data, our information uh, and really challenging ourselves and the industry to go further and go faster. We have a big role in how we educate our customers um, and we do a lot of work on how we label our products, how we can make sure that we're making the right choices for our customers. Um, but my experience is that it's very difficult to change people's behaviour. Um, and actually it takes a lot for people to, to change what are in many cases very embedded behaviours um, and very embedded attitudes. And so not only uh, do we have a responsibility to change things directly in the way that we label um, and lay out um, our products and our stores, um, but also there are stealth interventions that we can and should make. So for instance, reducing salt uh, across the UK industry uh, has resulted in a low incidence of heart disease and strokes in the UK. Uh, and that's a stealth intervention which has taken literally a couple of decades to deliver an outcome that we now see in, in, a, in a health outcome for our society more broadly.